Sometimes transvenous pacing just won't work. And there are three categories of reasons a transvenous pacer may not function. In this lesson, we're going to review failure to capture, failure to sense, and failure to pace. Let's look first at failure to capture. The blue arrows on the strip show pacer spikes that are not being captured, meaning they're not followed by a wide QRS. This may be because the wire is not making contact with the ventricle wall, or the output is too low, or the patient has significant electrolyte abnormalities like hyperkalemia. The solution is to reposition the wire, usually by slightly moving it forward, or increasing the output, or fixing the electrolytes. The second reason transvenous pacer may not work is failure to sense. In this strip, you can see that the pacer spikes are occurring at regular intervals, even when there are native QRS complexes. This is a case of the device not sensing the native QRS complexes. The solution is to increase the sensitivity by decreasing the number of millivolts needed to sense electrical activity. Lastly, failure to pace may be the reason for transvenous pacing failure. In this strip here, we see that there is this long period of asystole after the first two captures, and this is failure to pace, and there are no pacer spikes during this period of asystole. This may be because the machine is oversensing, meaning the device is too sensitive and it's picking up a little noise and not putting out pacer spikes. Or it could be that the battery is low and you need to replace the battery. Or it may be that the lead is displaced or there's a loose connection. Now that you're aware of the common problems with transvenous pacing, you will be able to avoid them and increase your rate of successful pacing. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.